is up guys, it's Mel and welcome back to my channel. This is the first reaction for Mel at the Movies of 2023 and a happy new year. Hope you guys had an amazing end of 2022. My Christmas and New Year's were good. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be a really good year and I hope that you guys have an amazing 2023 also. Um, so to kick off the channel for this year, we're going to be reacting to Evil Dead Rise. This is the Red Band trailer. And I've not been keeping up to date with, uh, you know, the Evil Dead Rise rumor mill and, you know, the story behind it and things like that. I just know that it's set in an apartment complex and I don't know if Bruce Campbell is back in it. Uh, I know that it centers around a family, so that is going to be real int really interesting to see the dynamic and how they you know, uh, work around that, because when it comes to Evil Dead, you know, we pretty much got it set that it was about, you know, Ash, his girlfriend, his friends going out to the cabin in the woods, then getting teleported back in time, you know, and then obviously Ash versus Evil Dead, I think I've only seen one episode of that, I know, sacrilege, don't judge me, um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to react to this, and I hope you guys enjoy it, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel, I'm a variety streamer and reactor on Twitch, as well as right here on YouTube, consider subscribing, it's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time, and without further ado, for the first reaction of 2023, let's get into Evil Dead Rise. No matter how busy you ever got, you always found time for me. And I can't believe I'm never gonna speak to you again. Okay, well that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just weird right off the bat. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother... What is this, Danny? I found it. with the maggots now. <laughs> That was Evil Dead Rise. It looks really good, but I will say that it's kind of got just the overall tone of it. I think it's because it's set in an apartment complex. I'm kind of getting Insidious vibes. I can't remember which Insidious it was. Um, it was either Insidious or one of the other par paranormal movies that's set in an apartment building. So I do get that kind of tone, but I'm glad that they've expanded beyond that, you know, so that it's not just in one place. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks really good, really scary, and obviously Bruce Campbell isn't in it, he might play a cameo near the end, like he did with the 2013 reboot, I think it came out in 2013, um, which is still a phenomenal movie, if you haven't seen it, watch it, it's amazing from start to finish, and you know, obviously we're used to sort of a lot of comical relief in the Evil Dead movies, uh, but with the reboot, it is 
all gore and it's straight horror and it works you know because obviously back when evil dead was first you know made it was trying to be a gory film but you know when we watch it now obviously it looks pretty laughable and fake you know but nowadays with the stuff they're able to do with makeup and gore it's very effective um so that's why I love the the reboot so you know so much because it's effective, it works, and obviously we're, we're always going to have the Bruce Campbell versions. They're they're set in stone, um. But I hope that they don't go too beyond, um, what we know and love about the Evil Dead franchise. You know, um, I would have loved a sequel to the reboot, uh. You know, just because the characters worked so well, uh, but you know what is what it is i'm really glad that i finally got to react to this it's been out for a few days and you know i wanted to you know do a reaction to it so now is as good a time as any for I'm, I'm interested to see how that is passed down and how this family finds it uh only because if you've watched um maybe the, maybe this is the sequel to the reboot we'll never know uh i can't even remember the name of the the girl who was in it but, uh, you know, she had to deal with the Necronomicon uh, and that movie. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes from the cabin in the woods to, you know, a city high rise. It's, it's, it's going to be, you know, uh, or a city apartment building. It's going to be really different. And um, it does look exciting. There's a lot of creepy nerve shredding moments like the bit the the top of the ceiling opens up and she's crawling along the you know the walls um i hope they don't give too much away however because that spoils the entire movie this is why i've only seen the first megan trailer and i've not reacted to anything else i'm going to wait until it comes out on the 13th um to do you know a proper you know to see it so that I'm not getting any spoilers. And the same with this, you know, this is the only trailer that I'm going to watch for Evil Dead Rise. I think it's shown enough. Um, but I hope that there's a lot of surprises still to come. And I do hope that Bruce Campbell's in it. Uh, I think he's, might, if he's not in it, then he'll probably be one of the executive producers. Um, because they've done that with Scream 6. It's just been announced that Corna Cox is uh, going to be an executive producer for Scream 6, which I think will cement her place for Scream 7, if that's the road they're going to go down. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. It's effective. It looks a lot of fun. And uh, the song choice for the trailer, I wouldn't... It's, you know, the case that uh, it's just, it doesn't really work for the trailer, but that's my opinion. What did you guys think about Evil Dead Rise? Let me know in the comments. Let's start a discussion. And what is your favorite Evil Dead, your favorite character, and your favorite Deadite? Um, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.